Seriously, dude? An automatic transmission for a motorcycle? I'm pretty sure that's just for little old ladies and beginner riders. Time to turn in your man card. Or is it? Maybe, just maybe, this technology is going to change motorcycles forever. I've been riding with one for about a year now, and I'm going to give you my impressions. Stay tuned. The dual clutch transmission, or DCT on a motorcycle, is a computerized electrohydraulic control system to switch between the gears of a conventional six-speed transmission. It is equipped with two clutch packs, one for odd number of gears, one, three, and five, and one for even number of gears, two, four, and six. Before actual gear shifting operation begins, the system automatically prepares itself for the transfer of drive power between gears by starting with the rotation of the gear to be changed to. Its two independently actuated clutches then smoothly transfer rotation speed from one gear to the next without zeroing <laughs> But wait, there's more. What makes all this magic happen is the 6-axis IMU. It's an inertial measurement unit that at all times is measuring left lean, right lean, forward and rearward acceleration and deceleration, and then yaw, which is it's the rear tire sliding left or right. The technology today is amazing. I mean, come on, my first video game was Pong on the Atari 2600. We've sure come a long way. Okay, back to the DCT. When I decided to buy a new bike, I did a frightening amount of research and finally settled on the Africa Twin. Then I decided to decide, manual transmission or the automatic DCT. Now there definitely were some negative comments on the forums about the original version of the DCT, so I was a little bit leery. But those same forums, and lots of other reviews, all said that those quirks had been ironed out with the new version. Now if you're not familiar with it, there's something called the five stages of technology adoption. And I'd probably consider myself to be on the back end of the early adopter portion of the spectrum. So I thought, what the heck, let's go all in and give the DCT a try. So what was it like riding the DCT for the first time? I gotta say, it was very strange not having a clutch. Those first few rides, every time I came to a stop, I'd be frantically grabbing for a clutch that wasn't there. But the beauty of the DCT is that you never have to think about gearing. Literally, never. You just concentrate on riding and let the bike do its thing. It feels and sounds just like riding any other motorcycle. You certainly do feel it shifting up and down. Now I'm a pretty average rider. I'm not doing anything extreme. So given that, I have never had it do a strange or weird shift. With that IMU knowing exactly what the bike's doing at all times, I have never had it do an inappropriate shift in a corner or going up and down hills. It just works. All right, let's talk about dirt. I definitely was worried about how it was gonna do off-road. I am already challenged enough in the dirt. I didn't need something else to worry about. To be honest, it's been a game changer to not have to think about gearing while riding off-road. I literally don't think about it. I can focus on riding the bike and picking the right line. Now initially, I was using the paddle shifters to drop a gear, to keep RPMs up when I was climbing hills. I don't even bother with that now. The bike does it just fine all by itself. So here's a perfect example where the DCT has been awesome. I have always sucked at standing up on the pegs and then shifting. It's just a skill I've never really mastered. So to be honest, most of the time, every time I wanted to shift off road, I'd sit down on the seat, shift, and then stand up again. With the DCT, that's gone. I can just stand and focus on riding. It's really enjoyable. Now to be fair, I ride on fire roads and moderately difficult trails, certainly nothing extreme, and I'm absolutely not pushing the limits of the bike. So I really can't comment on you guys who are just hammering the hardcore stuff and how the bike would handle gearing in that kind of scenario. About the controls, obviously there is no clutch or gear shift, instead you have a couple of buttons, drive mode and sport mode. What these buttons do is change where in the RPM range the bike shifts. Drive mode is the most fuel efficient, but you'll also be in top gear by about 40 miles an hour. I never use drive mode. And then you have three sport modes. For me, sport mode two feels the most natural in terms of shifting RPM wise. As I had said before, the bike does have paddle shifters, so you can manually shift up and down at any time if you want. 
Now, the only time I ever really use that is I might downshift if I was gonna pass a car or something. Other than that, I don't use them. And if you really can't give up all control, there is a button you can switch to full manual and with the paddle shifters, you can do all the shifting yourself. But if you're gonna do that, why didn't you just get the manual transmission? Honda's also included something called the G-switch. Now, normally the DCT slips the gears a little bit as it's shifting to make it a much smoother shift. If you activate the G-switch, what it does is it essentially instantly changes the gears and it mimics the feel of pulling the clutch in and, and dumping it real fast. It feels more natural in the dirt. So other than no longer shifting, what's it like to ride one of these things? Well, the single biggest change is not having a clutch. Now, whether you realize it or not, you are constantly using your clutch to dump power, to keep RPMs up, to help smoothly accelerate from a stoplight. So how do you do that without a clutch? The secret sauce is that your rear brake now becomes your power modulator. Now, if you're actually interested in how to ride a DCT, Brett Tax did a great video on that, and I'll link that down below. But in a nutshell, anytime you previously would have been pulling in your clutch, you're now using your rear brake. Now, I will admit this is taking quite a bit to get used to, and I'm certainly not proficient at it yet. So pros and cons. The pros I think I've pretty much already covered. You don't ever have to think about shifting, like, at all. You just enjoy the ride. So I certainly wouldn't say there's anything bad about the DCT, but there are definitely some quirks that you need to get used to. The big one we already talked about is using that rear brake. Another one, when you come to a stop, the bike is always in neutral. If you were to stop on a slight hill and get off, the bike would just start rolling. You have to set the parking brake every single time. I tend to get on and off the bike by standing on the peg and swinging my leg over I have forgotten to set the parking brake, swung my leg over, and had the bike move from underneath me. Set your parking brake. I'd say the only real complaint I have is the engine braking. Now it works pretty well and you have adjustable levels that you can set it to, but I do find that when I'm going downhill and perhaps coasting because I'm controlling speed or something like that, all of a sudden the engine braking will kick in pretty aggressively. It's pretty annoying. And of course, if you come to an intersection and you want to blip that throttle to really impress the girls, you better make damn sure it's a neutral. Otherwise, you're going to launch yourself into the intersection. That would be embarrassing. So the only real issue that I've actually experienced is the dreaded whiskey throttle. I was standing on the pegs, going pretty slow speed, coming around a corner, and there was a couple people standing in the middle of the trail. I went to sit down to move my way around them, and somehow when I sat down, I inadvertently blipped the throttle. Now normally you would just grab your clutch, no big deal. Forgot I didn't have a clutch. Frantically grabbed that a few times as I'm accelerating before I remembered rear brake and managed to slow myself down. It was a little awkward. So after a year of riding, was it worth spending the extra money for the DCT? Absolutely. Would I do it again? You betcha. So realistically, I think you're going to start seeing similar DCT type technology showing up in more and more bikes, especially these big adventure bikes and, and obviously the big heavy touring bikes. It just makes such an enjoyable riding experience. And I honestly don't see any downside. All it does is enhance your ability to ride. So in a nutshell, I am a convert to the Church of the DCT. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Until next time, adventure people.